Hi guys, Mr. Overon here with Mr. Overon's Tarot Reading Services, and um, today I am going to show you how I do my bay leaf spell. Now, um, a while back ago, somebody had asked me how you do your bay leaf spells, and for those of you who don't know, bay leaf um, is one of the best things to use for intense for intentions and manifestation magic. So you can go to pretty much any store um, and get bay leaves like this. They are just that, leaves. Um, they're also known as laurel leaves or whatever else. But um, I get these at like um, little ethnic markets like uh, bodegas or something like that. And so um, what you do is you take a leaf and you write your intentions on it and then you set it on fire and then that tells you uh, how how quickly that the spell is going to take effect I switch mine up a little bit and I put my intentions directly into the leaf by holding it to my third eye focusing on what I want and then setting it on fire and then I have this little cauldron little little cauldron that I put the leaves in and I save the ashes and um, I then use the ashes for uh, making black salt and stuff like that because it already has all that positive intention and that powerful manifestation that I'm doing so um, please bear with me because I can't get my overhead setup done so I'm gonna be trying to do this with um, holding the camera and like balancing it on stuff so here we go okay so here are my leaves and what I do to personalize it and you don't have to do this but I add a little bit of blood to each of the leaves because I'm giving of myself and I'm diabetic so I have these um, lancing devices that have like little needles inside of them and I can't get this open, but there's like a little needle inside there. You pull, you pull the trigger, push the button, and it uh, gives you like a little dot of blood to work with. You can pick these up at Walmart um, for like nine or ten dollars, plus the little needles or whatever. Um, that's if you want to use blood magic. I know a lot of people who practice Wicca and things like that don't like to use blood magic or think that it's not um, something to do. Uh, the other thing that I use is I use a little paper clip thing to hold onto the end of the leaf because when you're setting this on fire, it gets really hot. And. Um, so I just snap that on, say my intention by putting it to my third eye, and I set it on fire. So here we go. So then you just take your leaf and you have a lighter. And I'm moving my little cauldron and then you hold it to your third eye and you say your intention for that which is to come and the smoke from the bay leaf activates your psychic centers and also cleanses the area kind of like a um, sage would do
for those things that I need. That one got a little carried away. For those things that I want. For those blessings yet to come. And for the health, wealth, prosperity, and general well being of my friends, family, loved ones town, city, community, state, and nation, and world. And there you have it. That's how I do my bay leaf spells. And then you just see that they're in there continuing to smolder. And all of that beautiful ash it, that's being made. Now some parts of the leaf don't get completely burnt up. And um, there's a school of thought that the entire leaf needs to be burnt. And then there's, you know, the school of thought that as long as it's burnt, it takes, it does what it needs to do. And so there you guys have it. How to do a leaf or a bay leaf spell. Um, now, like I said, uh, you can write on it, and that's actually how you're supposed to do it. Um, and you can do anything that will write on it. You can do a marker, you can do a pencil, you can do a pin. Um, you can. You have to be very gentle with it because they're very crunchy, and if you push too hard, it pokes all the way through. And can damage your leaf but um, if you just go through the motions of making the writing that also puts that intent into that leaf but for me when I hold it up here to my third eye I am able to just focus all of that intent for that specific leaf and it works for me so hopefully it works for you if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.